Thank you so much, Godfrey. Trevante Cadet's business dream started at age 14, and in 2018, he was able to accelerate his plan to build an auto store with the help of the Access Accelerator. He's here to share his story, and we're so excited to learn it. Trevante, good morning, and welcome to Bahamas at Sunrise. Hey, good morning. Thank you for having me. Um, I'm happy to speak about SPDC and the impact it has on my business and my life, actually. That's awesome, man. Well, I'm looking forward to hear all about it. We'll get into that as we have the conversation this morning. But I want to get started with the early dream. Since 14, you knew that you wanted to have an auto store. What happened there? What led to that dream? You know, so interesting. That is my first business. But my first business actually was at nine. At nine, okay. I remember, I I went in the food store and I saw some, some chocolates. And there were three in my pocket for 99 cents. I bought, I borrowed $5 from my brother. And I was able to buy 15. I was able to buy the Karim school I sold some. I made $2 on that. I did it a few times. And from there, that was my first business. So being wow. changed, at nine, I was being reckless with the money. I ended up spending the money on candy. But at <laughs> least I felt what a business was. Mm -hmm. And at 14, which is so interesting to me, my first job at 14 was working at an auto body shop. And I loved cars from I was small. And I just loved to be in there because there were plenty of classic cars. There were luxury cars and everything. And from mm -hmm. there, I saw the car parts coming in. And it may seem weird, but I just loved the work that my boss had to do to get these parts. He had to bring them from Germany, from Japan, from different. And I was like, this is an interest. People, and I spoke about it, people like, how oh, is this interesting? I was like, but I just, just the way he has to do it was so interesting. Mm -hmm. So that was the key to everything right there. That's so awesome. Like, I can't stop smiling as I hear you tell the story because. You know, there are so many things that excite us when we're young. And so for you to have this idea that something is interesting that other people may not find interesting, mm -hmm. but for you to stick with it is a beautiful thing. Um, mm -hmm. And yes, we forgive you for spending your business money at nine, but you learn, yeah. right? Um, exactly. obviously the SBDC, they help you to, to, to figure out the, the money side of stuff later on. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the business itself, how has your business, business shifted over the, the years now? Um, and what is the new idea of the debt auto? What do you do right now? Okay. Um, the root of Bidet's Auto was me. I started selling cars at 24. I'm 30 now. At 24, mm -hmm. I started selling Japanese cars. I brought one in. I had mm -hmm. saved all my money. I brought one in. And someone bought it from me. And I bought another one. Someone bought that. And then I eventually had a car business. The business grew. Right? The business is drive for five. It skyrocketed. But the problem was that I would make so much money. I'd do so much. And then I'd have to buy car parts. Mm -hmm. So eventually, I started bringing in a few car parts for the business. And mm -hmm. I, before I got to use them, people started buying them from me. And I was like, you know what? I had a eureka moment, like maybe I should just transition to what I wanted to do from I was 14. So mm -hmm. I started that small, small, small. I had a trajectory. I was going, I was going, I was going. And I just needed one or two things from SBDC. Like I wanted to, I used to bring them on the plane from Japan. To me at the time, that was revolutionary. Because people didn't know you could buy things from Japan directly. Then eventually I mm -hmm. tried to get a small container. And I had maybe three, it was only but three feet by three feet tall, the box. And I was so happy when I had that. But I always dream, I said, you know what, if I get my one container, if I could just get one container parts, I could do so many things. So that's what SBDC uh -huh. helped me. Um, from here, the business, I two things that are important. I want to go countrywide because I realize uh -huh. now that I, I service people and I do throughout Exuma, Long Island. And I think eventually I may be able to go Caribbean wide and you'll see what happens from there. So of course we all as entrepreneurs, we have these major dreams, but I think, I really think it's possible, especially with SPDC behind me. Listen, so we start to think right now, we're gonna declare it, right? So get, right now you wanna get countrywide within the next six years, you're gonna be Caribbean wide and then you may go global, right? So let, we, we wanna speak it as it is uh, because that's what you're hoping for brother. And you've already proven that you could do it. Starting uh, from nine, Going all the way up now to 30, you already have what it takes. And you're right. With the SPDC behind you, I have no doubt that it's going to go that far. No so, man. of course, you mentioned that you're serving people in Aloof for now, Exuma now. Who are your clientele exactly? Um, and is it just auto parts? What specifically do you do with your clients? Okay. My business is now, it's now just auto parts and auto service. But for me, mm -hmm. as business owners, we have to do something revolutionary and different. For me, convenience is what I sell. So now I sell windshields, for example, which may be boring to some people, but the thing with me is that I have someone who's going to do it and bring it directly to you and install it at your house. Okay. So I have customers. I had a customer on Friday. She was sitting she was on lunch and she sneaked out and she went and she sat under a coconut tree 
The coconut fell on a glass, it broke it. She called me and said, Mr. Godet, I need you right now. I was, I was supposed to be at work, I need a glass. I called my installer, we had the glass done in 30 minutes. She went back to work, she's like 20 minutes late, but the convenience of what makes it different. Mm -hmm. Even auto parts, my other parts, I haven't, when you need that done, I send an installer as well. So okay. you buy it and you spend $30, $50, and he puts it on right where you are. And that changes so much, just being able to actually make everything so convenient. And that's always been my motto for any business I've done. That's awesome. Mr. Cadet, you just, it's so phenomenal whenever I get to see young men like yourself just doing their thing. Um, and then obviously thinking about the customer, right? And making sure mm -hmm. that you're serving the customer where they're at. Mm -hmm. Ari, so it's been so awesome here, and you just speak about the way that you've been able to continue to grow the business, pivoting for what customer needs are. And I'm sure you've had to pivot a lot during COVID, which is when the world discovered the world of pivot, mm -hmm. right? Um, you said the business was on life support during that time. How did you make it through? For me, um, COVID was, it came at the, at the beginning of my trajectory. Like, I really was doing well in 2019. I just got my footing. I got all my infrastructure together. And I was shipping, and everything was going well. And then COVID came and shut everything down. As I mentioned, I used to ship on a plane. Planes mm -hmm. weren't flying. Nothing could mm -hmm. come in. The business went to absolutely the next to zero. So mm -hmm. what I did during that time, I switched to service. Secondly, that encouraged me. I was like, I know I need to reach out to SPDC. I always mm -hmm. dreamed of the container thing. I said, you know what? If any other time, it has to be like right now. So when SPDC fueled me, I was able to convert. And from there, the business has been doing amazing even more. Now, throughout this conversation, we've been talking about the SPDC. So let's talk about the Access Accelerator. How good has it been working with them? Would you recommend them to others? What's the process been like? SBC has been awesome to me. For me, I've, I've always been prepared. I've been one of those people who have, I've had my business plan for four or five years. I just mm -hmm. been waiting for the right opportunity. I've been to banks, banks have told me no. I've been to every bank every year I'd make a round and banks told me no. And when I finally got the SBC, they listened and they put me directly into the hands of these people. And the same people who told me no are telling me yes, are inviting me in so they open that door and I definitely recommend anyone who has a dream, definitely I'd, I'd support and recommend SPDC. Excellent. All right. So how do we reach Cadet's Auto? I need to put you on speed down myself. I need some new windshield wipers right now. <laughs> uh, but when you're doing windshields and everything and so much more, that is not how we can reach Cadet's Auto. Cadet's Auto is on Facebook at drive, facebook.com slash drive for 5242. Or you can just call me. Feel free to call me. I tell people, WhatsApp me, call me, text me. 557-8356. Um, in the few months we'll have a website and when i have the website hopefully i may get another invite hopefully and i'll be able to post that and you'll be able to see me but feel free to call me anytime between eight o'clock six o'clock and even i'll always answer thank you so much mr Kadek. congratulations i'm so proud of you so proud of your commitment to your work i hope that other men watch the show that they're inspired by you and your determination and your drive and we congratulate you and the spdc on your success thus far thanks again for joining us I definitely appreciate you. I definitely appreciate the Access Accelerator Program and SPDC and my advisor. Thank you. You're watching Bahamas at Sunrise. We'll be right back.